here we go and we are in activate mac do not click on restart do not do that right now if it doesn't let you click on next it's because you're not connected to wi-fi so on the top right hand corner of your screen so again if you're stuck in this activate mac it just means you're not connected to wi-fi so on the top right hand corner you're going to see this that's your wi-fi just click on it and then from here connect to whatever wi-fi you've got so for me it's this one it's the best one available it's going to ask me for to put in my password i'm going to put it in click on join and once it connects to your wi-fi then and only then can you activate this mac if you're having problems with wi-fi it's just not hooking up just use an ethernet cable that will fix your issue all right so at this point it's going to tell you that activation lock it's fine it doesn't mean it's stolen or anything like that you just have to put the password for that apple id again if you forgot the password for your apple id you can always reset it obviously you need your email and the apple id it will it's going to actually tell you there what apple id it is so you know which email to go to just in case you haven't used this for a while anyways once you put in your password just select next so once you press on next because you put in your password for your app id and your app id you're going to see this your mac is activated you can exit to recovery at this point and finally we can get to reinstall the mac os so we can go ahead and reinstall it you do have to do this even if you're selling it by the way we're not activating it at this point with any app id we're just installing the mac os before with older macs it would actually ask us for an app id whenever we're installing mac os on it however now it doesn't and that's a good thing because if you're selling your mac you would still activate your mac with an apple id but at the same time it wasn't linked to your apple id it was kind of weird i know but now at least it works this easy so all we have to wait is at this point then you're just going to see this just click on agree select this option your first option you should technically only have one option if you follow my video then we're going to go on and continue now what does this message mean this message means we need a power source so we're going to hook up our mac to some electricity so we're just going to use that cable once we hook it up it's just going to go on and do this and that's because it's very important even if you have 100 percent of your battery it's very important that it doesn't die at any point in time during this process so that's why it's asking you to hook it up to some electricity even though you might have a hundred percent of your battery so this right here is really about your internet speed plus your max speed. So just wait. So after it's just going to restart briefly, then you're going to see this again. And don't worry about it. At this point, actually, you could just leave your Mac and then just come back later on. But I'm showing you every single step. So you guys don't worry about the procedure. Because I'm going to show you every single part of this process. But uh, we're almost done, actually. If you know how to use voiceover... Press so there we go you are all done at this point if you would like to learn how to use voiceover <clears throat> to set up your mac press the escape key so like i said you're all done at this point you could go on and set it up again and if you're selling this you could set it up without an apple id if you just want to put your mac away be done with it because you don't really have to set it up even if you're selling it it's your choice i like to set it up so the next person can just test it out and see if they like it but you don't have to. All you have to do is just hold on to the power key. So remember that button up here? Yeah, the fingerprint. Just hold on to it until it shuts down and you're done. Just let it be. Once the next person or once you feel like you want to set this up, just open it up again, turn it on, and you're going to get this screen again and just go throughout the whole setup process. So right now, if you guys want to see how I set this up without an Apple ID, just check out that video. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But again, for the rest of you, you can go on, hold that power key until it shuts down and you are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.